I've just marked out the area that I'm going to cut out on this uh, wing. The line is there, just past up into there. So I'm just about to cut this out and fit the repair section. I spent a while fitting this. It's almost there. I'm just going to do a little bit of filing on the back edge here. I actually can't get that to join. So uh, apart from that, it's pretty much there. So once I file that, I'll feed this up again, clamp it all up and just check and then I'll start to uh, put some tacks in to hold it in position so uh, it should be okay but anyway a little bit more filing and then some uh, tack welds the sections all tacked into place what I now have to do is to actually unbolt it and uh, I'll uh, sit it up in a more comfortable position to do the seam weld uh, and before I do that of course I'll probably add a few more tacks but uh, all the tacks went in well no blow through so that was good uh, this uh, repair section was a lot tighter than the other one so uh, I, that's really the reason for that but um, Anyway, I'll uh, unbolt this, reposition it, and then start to do the seam weld. The welding's all been cleaned up. The uh, distortion's been taken out of the metal. The shape is now very close to right. Once again, I'm not worried too much about that. What I have to do is to actually drill some um, holes in the flanges so the panels can actually be bolted together. The, uh, because of the large repair section, all of the holes along the top, basically from the mouth all the way around, on both sides have to be um, drilled and before they're drilled everything needs to be fitted together uh, properly uh, it's just sitting on there at the moment the the bottom pan um, so I've got a fair degree of flex to move and align the the panels um, that's going to take a while just to get right I want to make sure it's even on both sides I'm pretty sure that the the rear end of this bottom panel is not going to line up with the guard but um, the main thing will be is to get the mouth aligned and uh, work from there but anyway at this stage this is cleaned up enough um, there's still more repairs to do to this guard and actually to both guards but um, at this stage what I'll do is to uh, in terms of a next step is to, as I say, drill the holes, line this bottom panel up to make it sh make sure it's right, and then once that's done, I will probably adjust the the fit at the end. Um, as I say, I'm pretty sure this this panel is short, so I have to add metal on the the edge just in there. There probably will be a few other adjustments to make to the bottom bottom panel um, or maybe to the air ducts more, more than the bottom panel because when I dropped this on with the old air ducts it was sitting up a little bit wasn't quite lining up with the um, with the areas of the air duct where it meets contact so uh, that will still have to be done at this stage though I'm a fair way off that. Um, I'll just do the uh, the fit, the general fit of this panel. I've drilled all of the uh, 
flange bolt holes. So they're all done, the bolts are in, everything is lined up. The um, shape is good, good around the guards, around the front, around the mouth on both sides. The only issue is the, the rear end around the uh, wheel arch, which is down in there. <coughs> And there's a gap of about a quarter of an inch between seven and eight mil. Um, so I need to build that up. So I don't think that's so much of a problem. I'll have to gradually build that up with weld, but um, I can certainly do that. So that's the next step: is to uh, build all that up and make sure that's all aligned and then I'll move on to uh, finishing off the um, the wings now I've identified how much metal I've got to put on here it goes to the edge of the copper that's where the wheel arch finishes there so I've got to fill this into here and then it tapers as it goes up. Now I'm going to use the MIG welder to drop some welds in. Um, I think that's the easiest way to add the amount of metal that's got to be added. And um, then I'll start shaping it. So uh, as it goes from there to up into here. And it's a lot thinner up here of course. but it gradually gets thicker as it comes down to the edge here. So um, I should be able to do that. Everything's positioned. The um, bottom panel is actually bolted on so it's in its final position. All I have to do now is to make sure everything lines up. <coughs> now I've got the general shape of the panel a fair bit of welding particularly in here because it was this panel had a very deep curve in there which is a little bit different from the original anyway I've got enough weld in there to give the general shape meets up with the guard follows the, the general curve of the guard yet to finish it off so a little bit of welding to do in there just to fill up some gaps and then I'll uh, <coughs> both um, sand and file that to get it uh, to its original shape but I'd rather in doing that I'd rather take the panel off uh, at the moment it's bolted on so what I'm going to do now is go onto the other side and do the same when I've got that into this uh, similar shape then I'll take the, um, the panel off and do some fine uh, adjustments. It's taken a while but I've managed to uh, complete the filing of the, the new edge. It lines up nicely, provides a nice uh, leading curve to the the bottom panel so that's now finished the other side um, is in the same condition I'll just move around to show that as I say that's all nicely fitted so I don't have to uh, do much more to finish all of that off so what I'm now going to do is to move on to the right hand guard over here there's a few places that's got to be repaired. One is a section down in here that I've got to cut out and the other is the whole bottom bottom panel. I'll probably start with the bottom panel first that large section and um, then I'll move on to the smaller piece. They're the only two remaining uh, rust areas that I've got to address on the right hand side so I'm about to move on to that. I'm 
about to address this area of rust it's along the um, the wire um, insert on the bottom there um, goes up to about well, probably up an inch, at least an inch maybe a bit further up in around here um, hasn't rusted right through but it's certainly quite heavy rust in there so I had uh, Chuck make up Chuck from Monocoque Metalworks make up this repair section um, it's got a flange on it so it can be uh, both plug welded and tack welded um, it's uh, got a fair bit of cutting to do what I have to also do is um, cut the um, the wire up into the wheel arch here so this can go up a little bit and it's not going to go up all that distance I'll probably make it uh, about an inch up into into the existing panel so what I'm about to do is to work out where the cut needs to be now the cut of course doesn't go to the top of the flange the cut goes to the bottom here because this will slide under uh, and that will be on the inside of the panel and then the the outer surface will line up with the, the surface here. So it's going to take a fair bit of measuring. Um, I'll get uh, um, quite a bit of... Uh, I'm going to have to spend quite a bit of time measuring this to make sure I get the panel in the right position. Um, so uh, I'll start with taking some measurements. I'll uh, probably put a, a datum line across the top here so I can measure where this edge actually is in relation to the panel. So then it'll help me line this up back where it originally was. So this is going to take a while to make sure the measurements are right before I cut, but uh, hopefully I shouldn't have too much difficulty. The other issue I have of course is that there is a brace on the inside of this. I'm not sure how it's attached. I know it's um, got, uh, I won't call it glue, but the the sealant on the inside which may well be the only way it's held on or there's also a possibility it has uh, a few um, spot welds particularly on the bottom here so uh, need to be careful when I take or try and take this off it uh, may not just drop straight off so anyway a fair bit of work to do on this the other thing is that uh, on the inside of this there is a brace that's welded, not a brace sorry, it's a, a bracket that's welded that's so the inner guard can bolt onto it so I've got to get that position correctly as well. Well I've cut the bottom piece off, this is it. Um, took off the least amount possible obviously the, uh, the edge hasn't been dressed yet so there's a little bit of work to do on that I've just clamped it briefly into position um, it's about where it will end up I'll recheck all of that because I've got measurements uh, to take to make sure it's the right amount um, I've recessed the <coughs> The wired edge up into the existing panel. It's about an inch up. I've just got to check that to make sure that's right. What I'll do, uh, or what I have done, is to actually I can't see it on this, is to actually peel back the, the rolled edge um, where I've cut it. So the rolled edge comes down into 
here a bit further. So I've rolled, put, peeled that back, enabled me to cut the uh, the existing wire, and then I'll run the new wire from from this one up into um, the old panel. So um, that's just going to be double checked before I I um, do any welding. This will be actually plug welded along here. I haven't marked where that will be and I'll put stitches on the, uh, the edge there as well as I go along. Uh, I may even put a few stitches on the rear. The um, panel at this stage is looking quite good. The um, amount of work involved is not that much. Um, I had to drill a couple of spot welds out of there, as you can see on this, where they spot welded that into the brace right on the bottom end. So I've actually got to uh, redo that, so I'll put a couple of plug holes in here so I can weld that into the brace. But all in all, it's going in uh, um, a lot easier than the other repair sections. And that's mainly because I'm not doing a continuous TIG weld. I mean, I could have tried it, but um, I decided that I've got enough panel work to do without trying to uh, dress a weld this long on a relatively flat surface. A lot easier to blend into a curved surface than on a, a fairly flat surface along there. So anyway, it's uh, it's looking good at this stage. The fitting's now almost complete. Drilled all the uh, plug weld holes and fitted it into the or the wire edge into the existing panel. That's lined up nicely. The shape is right on the outside, so uh, I've just got a couple of spots along the edge that I've got to trim off, and then I can um, screw that panel in completely. The uh, as soon as I've done that, I'll actually actually I might wait till I've welded it, uh, and then I'll cut that end piece off. Put the plug weld holes in the end here. That's um, welding it into the brace on the end of the uh, the wing. So it's getting very close to being welded in place. So it'd be good to get that done.